Hey, Shepard. The word is that Garrus really likes you. I can never tell with Turians. I think you should go for it. A lot of people want to see you two together. It must have been really hard for Samara to ask you to help kill her own daughter. She told me she really appreciated your help. As hardcore as she is, I'm not sure she could have done it without you. The Normandy runs so quietly. I'm not used to hearing my footsteps when I walk. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Very well. I am. I had been recording a message for Kolyat. How are things going with him? It is difficult. All things worth keeping are. I never explained. I suppose the story of my wife's death took you by surprise. You talked a lot about your people, but not much about yourself. It's not that I don't trust you. I'm not used to trusting anyone, especially since Erika was killed. That memory I mentioned before. Laser dot trembles on the target's skull. The smell of spice on the spring wind. Sunset eyes defiant in scope. That was Erika. That was how I met her. She saw my targeting laser as she walked by and threw herself in the way. I guess she impressed you. She woke me up. Her body trembles, not fear. Indignation. Her mouth moves. How dare you? You and I train to sacrifice ourselves to save others. How often does a civilian step in the way of a bullet to protect someone they've never met? I thought she was the goddess Urashu. She met my eyes through the scope and my purpose faltered. So how'd she go from blocking your shot to having your children? I had to meet her. The memory possessed and endowed me. I fell on my knees before her, begged her pardon. She introduced me to the world beyond my work. Eventually, she forgave me. Later, she loved me. When you talked to Kolyat, you said she died. I let myself become complacent. I thought Erika and Kolyat were safe. I stayed away too long. And my enemies came for her. Who came for her? Batarians. A slaver ring that was preying on Hanar outer colonies. I'd killed their leaders. They paid the Shadow Broker to find out who I was. But they were afraid of me. So they went after her. You're a smart man, Thane. You didn't take precautions? I did. I should have done more. I knew my family was vulnerable. I accepted my death when I was twelve. Nothing could make me accept theirs. My body hunted her killers, murdered them. I was taught to grant death quickly, cleanly, to minimize suffering. Them, I let them linger. I don't blame you. They killed innocents to get to you. For you and me, death is business. For people like them, it is sport. I haven't spoken about my wife and I don't think I ever have. I didn't have anyone left to tell it to. You're talking to your son again. That's huge. Don't lose sight of that by dwelling on should-have-beens. You are correct, of course. Thank you for listening, Siha. I think my translator just glitched. What did you call me? Siha. Someday I'll tell you what it means. Morinth haunted my dreams and waking hours equally. For the first time in 400 years, I am free. I am a ruined vessel of sorrow and regret, but I am free. It is not a feeling I can describe. You did your duty. What about your feelings? One of my daughters is dead. My hopes, my dreams were all bound up in my children. Still, my feelings have always come after my duty. The same is true of you. You said that Morinth was a monster, but she was still your daughter. She was the strongest and smartest. 
She would not accept the injustice thrust upon her. She fought to the end. I am so proud of her, Shepard. Killed her for being what she was. And I would again. But I also know what it means to leave everything behind and fight. Do you realize that she went on the run at the age of 40? I do not know human years well, but it is very young for Asari. Was it worth it? It was never a question of worth, but of need. I had to take the action I did, as did she. This was never a story that would have a happy outcome. What will you do now that Morinth is gone? Assuming I survive your mission? I am a Justicar. Injustice still exists. And perhaps even other Ardatyakshi. Morinth claimed that her condition was the future of the Asari race. Morinth would say anything that served her cause. Ardat Yakshi are sterile, Shepard. That wouldn't be a particularly viable future for my people. I thought Ardat Yakshi were extremely rare. Asari have spread to many worlds. There are remote regions with no government oversight. If I travel to those worlds and they do exist, I will find them. There's no way to correct the condition, Morinthad? We are an advanced species, but we don't have magic. When the trait manifests at maturity, it is too late for mitigation. It only occurs in purebloods like myself. Perhaps that is the root of the stigma regarding Asari-exclusive pairings. I don't know. You don't want to settle down? I did. I returned to my homeworld and tried to start a family. I will fight and struggle all my life. That is my fate. When I die, it will not be in bed. I am at peace with that. You still control the direction of your life. I have chosen this path. I truly am at peace, due in no small part to you. Looking good, Miss Allison Gunn. Hawk won't be able to keep his eyes off you. Take it I'm wearing this get-up for a reason? You'd look really out of place at a society party in armor, don't you think? You look great. You should wear this stuff more often. I assume Allison Gunn is my cover? You run a small but talented band of mercs out in the Terminus systems. Precisely the type of person Hawk respects. I took the liberty of giving you a reputation. Papers, witnesses, Article in Badass Weekly. Just don't start talking business with him, and you'll be fine. Remind me, what kind of man are we dealing with? Hawk's a weapons dealer and smuggler. He killed my partner and stole his gray box. Other than that, he's not so bad. Rich, charismatic, willing to crack open a man's skull to get at the neural implants inside. Now's probably a good time to fill me in on the details. You have been waiting patiently. Our friend, Hawk, is throwing a party for his closest friends. A couple dozen of the worst liars, cheaters, and mass murderers you'll ever want to meet. All bringing gifts as a tribute to the man himself. Our tribute is a lovely statue of your old friend, Saren, rendered with loving detail and filled to the brim with our weapons and armor. You can keep your pistol as long as it's concealed. They won't hassle you over a sidearm. Once inside, we'll make our way to Hawk's vault door, somewhere in the back of the ballroom. Then, we case the security and start peeling away the layers. The statue should be there, waiting for you to crack it open and arm up. Then we just waltz into the vault and take back KG's gray box. And I'll finally get a chance to say goodbye. You've worked really hard on this. KG must have meant a lot to you. Was I that obvious? KG's gray box holds a lot of priceless, personal memories. It's all that remains of who he was. But the secret he discovered is dangerous. I wouldn't bring you here if it wasn't. What's in the Grey Box that makes it worth all this trouble? The Grey Box holds Keiji's memories. Everything from all the codes and plans he stole to... all the time we spent together. Wrapped up in those memories is the secret he stole. Keiji never told me what it was, but the information got him killed. This ought to be interesting. That's what I'm going for. This is our stop.
After you, Ms. Gunn. Hold a moment, ma'am. There seems to be an issue with the statue. Is there a problem, yeah? No, Mr. Huck. Just doing a scan. I don't believe we've met. Donovan Hawk. Allison Gunn. A pleasure. Sir, the scanners aren't picking anything up. Hmm. I don't think our guests would come all the way here from Ilium just to cause trouble. Do you? You may pass through, Ms. Gunn. You were invited after all. But I will ask your companion to remain outside. You understand, I hope. If it makes you feel more secure, she can wait outside. Good to see we're not going to have a problem. Enjoy the party. Well, that didn't go as I expected. Any idea why he'd send you away? No. We've never seen each other in person. And no one knows what I look like. Just watching his ass, I'm sure. I can't blame him. Don't worry about it. I can handle it from here. That's good. Because you'll have to do all the talking. I'll stay out of sight and stick with you the best I can. We'll keep radio contact in case something goes wrong. We need to find the door and case the security. We'll figure out the next step then. How did you ever contain that situation on Olive? Oh, that? A quick application of force, a little pressure, and bam! Done. Thank goodness. I thought those rabble would dog you for years. Some say Commander Shepard is still alive. Really? Oh, please. It's wishful thinking, at best. What's your read on that Archangel guy? I hear he's dead. Or gone, or something. Good riddance, I say. Very nice. There's more here than I expected. Password protected voice lock, kinetic barrier, DNA scanner, looks like an EX700 series. Everything a vault needs to be impenetrable. This gonna be a problem? Please, remember who you're talking to. We'll need to get a voice sample for the voice lock. You'll have to go chat up Hawk for that. We'll have to find a password too. DNA, child's play. We should find plenty of DNA samples in Hawk's private quarters. And the barrier? Cut the power. Never fails. If we can find it, Keiji could get through a system like this in his sleep. And I'm better. Let's get to it. It looks like the barrier's power cable runs under the floor here. I'll set your Omni tool to scan for electromagnetic fields. One sec. Ow. 
That should take care of the barrier. Is exquisite. Who could know? He never lets anyone near it. Ready when you are. They're coming from the front. Take them down. Brace yourself. I have an idea. See what you can find. Got something? The password is Perugia. Huh. That's the name of the man who stole the Mona Lisa. Nice. I tapped into their communications. Maybe it'll come in handy. We still need that voice sample from Hawk. Miss Gunn, good to see you. That scene at the door hasn't soured your evening, I hope. There's always someone gunning for people like you and me. <laughs> yes, that's true. I'm glad you understand. Frankly, I'm surprised your security isn't tighter. It's a ballsy move opening your front door like this. Yes, I suppose it is. Hopefully it sends the message that I don't fear anyone stupid enough to step up to me. People these days want comfort, entertainment, love. They don't see that the galaxy is fragile. They only have to worry about simple luxuries. Why? Because people like me, and you, are doing the terrible things that keep the galaxy spinning. This party is for us. The cleaners. The support structure for the galaxy's gleeful delusions of peace. May there always be a market for the things we do. I said get him talking, and you got him talking. We've got enough of a voice sample. Let him go. Enjoy the party, Miss Gunn. Let's go crack that voice scanner. Mr. Hawk's private rooms are off limits to guests without security clearance. I have clearance to go in. On whose authority? I have authorization from Chief Rowe. Okay, one second. Chief Rowe, Samuels. Have you given access authorization to Mr. Hawk's private rooms? They have access, Samuels. They'll stop bothering me. Got it. Sorry to bother you, ma'am. Okay, you're clear to go in. Enjoy the party.
Look for anything we can get usable DNA from. Just make it quick and quiet. Ha! Found a sample? Now a credit shit. Not a great saliva sample, but it's still useful. We're going to need more than this for the scanner, though. Empty. Too bad. A cigarette butt would have been a good source. Hmm. No DNA, but... Looks like Hawk's been trying to crack Cagey's gray box. Looks like he's missing something. He hasn't cracked the encryption yet. No hair, no skin flakes. The housekeepers must be thorough. It's clean. It's a plant. Holographic interface. Won't find a sample here. We can probably get Hawk's DNA off the data pad. He seems to have obsessed over this. But I'm not sure there's enough. Let's keep looking. The cleaners don't dare touch treasures like this. We can get some skin cells from the dust. That should do it. Let's get out of here. That got it. The barrier's down. Password required. Perusia. Voice ID accepted. Welcome, Mr. Hawk. DNA identification affirmed. Welcome, Mr. Hawk. I'll check for security cams. Go ahead and get dressed. So this is Hawk's fault. Very nice. This scanner will hone in on the gray box. It's not far. Michelangelo's David. Just... Wow. Think we could get this out through the door? Hawk has good taste. I'll give him that.
Doesn't look like much, but that might be one of the most valuable pieces here. Turian art is rare outside of Palavin. For good reason, I say. Ugh. Rachni Queen. I guess everything's valuable to someone. Creepy. This looks like Quarian script. Wow. This has got to be old. When was the last time the Quarians wrote on stone? I feel like its eyes are following me. Yikes. Wow. Imagine that thing coming at you in a dark alley. This is nice. Oddly relaxing. A model of the Kara. It's like a Turian Titanic, the way I hear it. That's impressive. Not sure what it is, though. That's impressive. Not sure what it is, though. I could still get money for something like this, even outside the Alliance. Asari go nuts for this sort of thing. How did Hawk get Lady Liberty's head? Damn you, Hawk! That's a Casa Locust. No, THE Casa Locust. The gun that killed two presidents. Gorgeous. It even comes with a perfect copy, too. I'm sure Hawk won't mind if we borrow these. Oh my god. There it is. Don't bother Miss Goto. It's code locked. I had a feeling that was you at the door. I knew if it was really you, you'd get through anyway. You know me. I don't like to disappoint. I need what's in your grey box, Kasumi. You know I'm willing to kill you for it. I'll admit your skills are impressive. You got into my vault like I'd left it open. But you're still going to die, screaming, just like... No! Have I got your attention? That shut him up. Kill them! Now you see me! Loki! Checking blueprints. There's a landing pad to the east. Let's get out of here. 
Joker, bring the shuttle in. Now! They've seen us. Going dark. Can't do that right now. Take heavier weapons than that to blow those tanks.
kill Alison. I'm going to me. Watch her alive. Keep them busy. I'll take care of this myself. Moving to cover. Get ready. Going ah! silent. That's the easy way, Gonzo. Allow me to show you the hard way. Up ahead! Look 
ahead. Lay down your weapons. Now you see me. Right. You see that? Take out these guards. I'll take out the shields on the gunship. Got a clear shot. Here we go. Tear that thing apart. Careful, men. What's the key for a bitch face? Heck. Coming from the right.
Izumi. If you're seeing this, it's because I'm dead. The information we found is all here. It's big, Kasumi. If the Council ever got wind of this, the Alliance could be implicated. Kasumi, I... I encrypted the information to keep it safe. And I uploaded the encryption key to your gray box, so no one could get the whole package. But if I'm dead, and if anyone knows about this, then I've made you a target, my love. I'm so... so sorry. Keiji. I know you, Kasumi. You'll want to keep these memories forever. But you don't need some neural implant to know I'll always be with you. Please, Kasumi. Destroy these files. There's nothing more I can do to protect you. I... I can't do that. This is all that's left. Goodbye, Kasumi. I love you. Is there any way we can just destroy the information? No. Keiji's a master at encrypting files. He lays the information into his memories. You can't get one without experiencing the other. You heard him, Kasumi. He'd want you to destroy the information and save yourself. I know. I just... I can't. This is all that's left of him. If it's easier, I could do it for you. I... Okay. Just get it over with. Please.